Creep.com and here with a video quick tip of the week. Um, I just got back from After Dark a couple weeks ago and uh, if you've never been to an After Dark seminar, it's a must-see event there. Um, it's my first one mentoring. I had never been to one before as a mentor or a student, but it was unbelievable just the amount of information that's there. And I actually learned something on this, this one here. Um, this here, Neil Van Nykerk showed me this little technique here. This is, he calls it the black thingy. And literally all it is is a piece of neoprene, black neoprene, as he's going up, up, up. And it's got two hair bands on it holding it on. And then you just fold it over. Okay, but what this does is when you're bouncing your flash around, it keeps it out of other people's eyes. So like if you're standing next to like the mother of the bride and you're shooting the bride and groom, um, it keeps it away from her eyes so it doesn't bounce into her. So, but what I'm here to talk to you about a little bit is how to use bounce light to fill your images. Um, so let me put this on here, the camera, and show you. And just a little bit about um, lighting. Basically, there's three types of light. You've got broad light, short light, and flat light. That's kind of the three sort of portrait lights. So broad lighting is basically, like if I'm with three quarters of the camera, you're gonna light the broad side of the face, so that's broad lighting. Short lighting, I'm three quarters of the camera, you would light the short side of the face, so the shadow side, you light this side. And then flat lighting obviously is to the face. So I'm gonna pretend you are the subject, I'm lighting. So what I'm gonna do, and if SE can pan up here, you're gonna see the whole room here. Um, and we're just gonna use this room, because it's basically like if you were in a reception. And granted, the colors are not going to be the greatest. You'd normally be in a reception, it'd be like, wouldn't be these colors. But we're going to just use this anyway. And so if you're the subject, and I want to broad light you, so let's say I'm going to light you on this side, what am I going to do? I am going to pick a spot and point it right back to where I want it at the angle that I want the light to hit you. So if I want to broad light you from that side, I'm going to point it basically like right back up there Okay, turn on the flash, and in TTL, I'm just gonna go, boom. And I'm gonna be hitting you on this side at an angle, okay? Now if I wanna go to the other side, I'm gonna come around and short light you on that side. So I'm gonna point it back in this corner, okay? And boom, I just short light you. Okay, so now if I want a flat light, which is what I do all the time, I'm gonna stick that sucker right overhead, like so and bounce it right behind me, like right there, and just fill really flat. So let me get a focus here, and boom. So it's that simple. Instead of trying to bounce off of like whatever, you know, having little reflectors and stuff, just use the space that's available, available, excuse me, available to you um, in TTL, and it's actually gonna do the job for you. So point, 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 broad, flat, Flat, or, uh, short lighting. It's that simple. So thanks, Neil, for that little tip. I actually was there with him, helping him out, showing him the people how to do this. So um, anyway, foshcreative.com. Thanks. thanks.